Hello, this is Alex, and today we are going to talk about the proper response to attraction. Have you ever found yourself in the presence of someone and felt inexplicably drawn towards them? Maybe everything stopped, your heart, time, reason, cue the slow motion, music, and feels, and welcome to the experience of attraction. If you have ever wondered what to do with the feelings that might arise in this experience, I am here to help with some advice you might find surprising. The proper response to attraction is falling in love. Let me explain. First of all, it is important to understand that attraction at its root is good. Why? Because attraction is a unique human experience in which we are actually drawn out of ourselves. In a world of isolationism and self-reliance, attraction wakes us out of our own ego by reminding us how deeply we can be affected by the presence of another. Our hearts ache for intimacy, connection, and communion comes to the surface. Now, the experience of attraction does not have to be sexual. I have definitely encountered many wonderful hearts who I felt drawn to, attracted to, in a platonic way. However, sexual attraction is also a reality. This is when we experience a physical or emotional reaction to the unique feminine or masculine characteristics of another, whether those traits be physical or psychological. This attraction is important to know what to do with because it is the raw material for either love or lust, to selflessly giving ourselves to another or selfishly using them. The difference lies in if we allow this attraction to draw us towards the person in front of us or away from them. Don't worry, I'll walk you through an example. So, one time I met a man and immediately felt drawn to his beautiful appearance and his incredible virtuous heart. My first step, being radically honest about my intentions and thoughts. Upon doing this, I realized that my first instinct was to imagine how we might come together in the future or what he might be like. Though it was pleasurable to emotionally indulge in that fantasy, ironically, it was leading me away from the reality of the man in front of me. And intentionally continuing could become a form of emotional use rather than real encounter. Being aware of this led me to step two, orienting my initial rush of feelings towards this man, towards actually encountering the person in front of me. At its heart, attraction is not an accusation. It is an invitation towards a person and not just any man or woman in the abstract, but the wonder and mystery of a specific man and woman. By truly getting to know him, I came to no longer see him as an object to be won or as an object of my imagination or lust, but an actual complex and multifaceted gift person and eventually friend. Only then was real love possible. So what are those steps? One, being aware of how the attraction was manifesting and two, orienting that attraction towards authentic love. Real love moves us towards something way beyond our initial rush of feelings. By willing the highest good of another, authentic love engages with everybody, first and foremost, as a brother and sister in Christ. This does not mean that we can't pursue someone romantically. What it does mean is that we have to take the time to ensure that our attractions are orienting us towards the good of the fullness of the person in front of us, and not towards the shell or idea of a person as an object for our emotional or physical pleasure before taking the next step. Instead of repressing or inordinately indulging our feelings and desires, we get to integrate them with reality in a way that actually helps fuel authentic love. So go ahead, fall in love. Living healthy and fully alive looks like engaging our hearts honestly and according to reality. Love is creative and love unnumbs our hearts. Love calls us to higher and higher heights and to sacrifice for the truest good of another, which may or may not look like pursuing them. Falling in love even gives us a taste of how God loves and is captivated by every single soul. In fact, when we fall in love with one person, we can allow our desire to serve and uphold them overflow into all of our relationships and help us see the glorious reality of every heart. Don't get me wrong, authentic love is no flowery thing, but love's demands are beautiful and exactly what we are created for. So why not? Let's fall, y'all. Thanks for watching. Click here to subscribe and here for more videos. For more information, visit our website at thecultureproject.org.